Okay, for the second phylum, zygomycete, estimately 800 species of zygomycete produce sexual spores called zygospore. So, these fungi, they have sinocytic hyphae. It means the hyphae doesn't have septa. However, the septa or the division do form to separate the hyphae from the fruiting bodies. Most of them decomposes, some are parasites and other mycorrhizal fungi. So, these mycorrhizal fungi, actually, they do the mutualistic or symbiotic relationship with the plant roots. The example of zygomycete is Rhizopus storonifer that break down the bread and other food. So the bread become moldy when a spore falls on it and then germinates and grow into mycelium. So this is this, the fungi do the extracellular digestion. So the spore when it grow onto the food sources, it will release extracellular enzymes to digest the food sources. So it digests the food sources from complex molecules into simpler molecules. Later, the fungi will absorb the digested food sources. So the sexual production in Rhizopus tolonifer, okay, it occurs when the two hyphae, okay, two hyphae of course from different mating types, the positive and negative referring to the sex, okay, sex determination. When these two hyphae, they grow into contact, it will form chemitangia. So this is the cycle, life cycle of the rhizopus stolonifer. The blue one is the haploid, the purple is heterocarion stage, the reddish is the diploid. So when these two mycelia, okay, the mating type, positive and negative mating type, they come into contact, okay, they will form gametangia. Okay? So this gametangia will undergo the plasmogamy, the fusion of cytoplasm, but not yet the fusion of nuclei, only the cytoplasm fuse. So, during this stage, we call as heterocaryotic stage, okay? Uh, so, later on, it will develop the nuclei fusion uh, or the stage called karyogamy. When these uh, mycelia come into nuclei fusion, form karyogamy, so we call it as the diploid uh, nuclei. So, this diploid nuclei will undergo mysis process to produce spores and spore germinate again and do the sexual production or it, the spore can disperse and germinate and form into sporangia by asexual reproduction. So these two are the life cycle of the rhizopostalinifers. So it can do sexual reproduction and also asexual reproduction. The other types of the other example of uh, zygomycete is pilobolus. Okay, so this zygomycete it decomposes the animal dung, the animal waste, the animal droppings. So these are animal dung. So what happened? The mycelium it bends the spore bearing hyphae. So this is the spore bearing hyphae. Okay, it bends the spore bearing hyphae towards the bright light where the grass is likely to be growing. So this fungi it will um it will shoot the sporangia like cannonball as far as 2 meter so they can shoot these spores okay kenapa dia nak shoot okay so they can shoot supaya so this spore they, they akan pergi kepada grass tadi so when animal the grazing animal such as cow okay uh, they akan makan rumput okay so they akan makan sekali dengan fungi yang ada pada rumput so that fungi will go through the um, apa ni through the body of grazing animals and then akan uh, will be eliminated into the feces of the animal. So, ni cara dia uh, meneruskan lah uh, dia punya species tu kan. Sustain the, uh, like the living. The living of the fungi.